Hello guys, today we're gonna install the heater for the frosting issue in the back of the Samsung refrigerator. All right, so what we gotta do first is disconnect the sensor, as you can see here, and then move the coil, this pipe on the right-hand side, a little bit to the right, just to give yourself enough room. All right, so here we are with the heater. Again, we're gonna loop that underneath the coil, slide it over, and you should have a position like this right above the evaporator coil. All right guys, so here we are with the heater installed in place, zip tied in. We're gonna reconnect the sensor, move it down in position, and point it away from the heater. That way is, so we've installed the heater in place, zip tied in. We have the sensor off to the right hand side, back in its position, a little bit lower than what you originally seen it in. Next, what we're gonna do is get these guys into place with the little connectors here. And we'll have a picture of that for you to show you exactly what they look like and how to use them. Basically, you're gonna crimp it onto the existing wire on the left-hand side to the defrost heater. And then with the second one, it's gonna go on the right-hand side. And this is, again, the line coming off your defrost heater in the fridge section on your Samsung. Also works with the Kenmore models, that with the Samsung design. If any of you guys are curious, then what we're gonna do is just plug her in. The frost wire goes in like so, and the left hand side. And just like that, we got it all connected and in place. And just one quick note, um, the heater, it will not damage anything inside the fridge, the plastic lining, the housing, it's low enough temperature it's not going to affect anything you won't see any burn marks and again this is going to help you with your frosting issue that you've been having i hope this video has been helpful thank you guys have a wonderful day